Good morning. Very, very interesting paper just published in Nature. Cancer risk across mammals. So this is a study uh, on uh, 110,145 uh, individuals, animals, across 191 species. So these are adult zoo and mammals, okay? And the main result, just to summarize, is that uh, cancer mortality is associated with uh, diet, in particular with uh, meat consumption. So uh, mammals that are carnivores, especially those that eat other mammals, face the highest cancer-related mortality. The, the second important point, take home message, is that cancer mortality risk is largely independent of both body mass, so small animals or large animals, uh, they have the same uh, risk, uh, and uh, uh, life expectancy across species. Okay, so these are the two major messages. Eating animals, so mammals eating other mammals have the highest mortality for cancer and is independent uh, of the body size of the animal and uh, the life expectancy. Now, uh, let's look more in depth into the data. So this is figure, figure one, as you can see here, basically uh, the carnivores, you know, the red bars have the, across all of them, you know, you have a higher cancer mortality instead of uh, in the primates and, uh, and, uh, and uh, in, uh, in uh, these, uh, animals, these herbivores, these big herb herbivores like the hippopotamus and the rhino and the other big herbivores, you have one of the lowest cancer related mortality. Here another way to express you see carnivores, you know, they, they have a much higher uh, cancer mortality uh, on average 10% compared to uh, these very difficult name, artiodactyla, primates, uh, rodent. Um, okay. Uh, interestingly, uh, the cancer mortality rate was highly variable among species, ranging from 0% in 47 species out of 191, to 57.1% in the kowari. So these kowari are small marsupials that are carnivores, okay? And uh, cancer mortality rate exceeded 10% in 14 species, 21.5% of all species inspected, indicating that the oncogenic process is a prevailing source of mortality of many mammals uh, distributed along the phylogeny, okay? Um, again, you know, the data, the re these results indicated that the phylogenetic signal was mostly driven by cancer mortality risk in, car in carnivores, which was significantly higher than in primates and in uh, Artiodactyla, that uh, Artiodactyla is the least cancer prone mammalian order, despite the frequency of large body species of this group. So, members of the Artiodactyla are, for example, pigs, uh, hippopotamus, uh, camels, uh, deer, giraffes. Uh, sheep, goats, cattle, so all ruminants. These ruminants have the lowest mortality and the carnivores have the highest mortality. Uh, 
uh, let me see if there is anything uh, any, anything else that's very interesting. Again, you know, as you can see here, uh, the significance increase uh, uh, current cancer mortality risk is in mammals eating other mammals and invertebrates, you know, but not in, in, in not in invertebrates, uh, not in fish. In fish is not significant, even if there is a the, the median it's higher, but it's not significant in uh, reptiles also is not significant, even if there is, you know, the median is higher and in birds as well is not significant. Uh, again, here, you know, they, they talk about, you know, many hypotheses of some pathogens that are consumed, that are present in raw, raw meat, but there are no data to support. They are just hypotheses, you know, the idea that, you know, a high fat, low fiber diet uh, may explain, you know, these uh, higher risk of uh, cancer mortality, the low uh, microbiome diversity in carnivores and other factors. But again, there are just hypotheses that the authors are discussing. In reality, you know, people like us that are working in the biology of aging, we know that uh, um, brain chain amino acids and methionine and other amino acids, they are major drivers of the mTOR and other uh, pro-aging, pro-cancer pathways on top of the, the, the fact that, you know, uh, animal animal food meat is rich in iron and um, and uh, other potential substances that are increasing cancer risk big way okay uh, and finally uh, here you know to show that basically body mass and uh, life expectancy is not a factor that explains uh, the, the uh, cancer risk. And, um, and this is the conclusion. Our study indicates that the death due to oncogenic phenomena is frequent and taxonomically widespread in mammals. In some species, more than 20 to 40% of the managed adult population die of cancer-related pathology. And again, carnivores are those that have a much higher uh, cancer-related mortality. Thank you for listening as always.